Good morning. This is a Colt single action army. Four and three quarter inch barrel, 3840 caliber, first generation, made in 1905. Got a beautiful set of grips on it, all turning kind of a cocoa color if I get it turned in the right direction here. Overall in good condition except the finish is pretty well scrubbed off. Matching numbers, everything. Mary and I went down Thursday to our local toy store and I took some trade and was able to get this at a good price, I thought. The deal I wanted. And uh, because it had one problem, it uh, wouldn't do this. This now has a, a uh, loner hammer and trigger in it because the hammer in the action was uh, pretty well non-functional. It was binding up and uh, so uh, I think that helped me on the price. I'll show you what it looks like the original hammer looks like and uh, hopefully we can get that focused in there. Uh, this little cam here what happened is whoever welded this up and recut the notches left a build up a weld right up there against this cam face and this let the hand on the leg on the bolt fall off way too soon and uh, not let the bolt uh, actuate correctly. So uh, I tried cleaning that up a little bit but uh, I wasn't able to get it up enough to uh, make it functional. So this is what a good cam should look like. This happens to be a Uberti. If I can get that turn it in the right direction, I may have to take some photographs. And it's uh, noticeably bigger and taller than this one. This one's all eroded away on this edge here where the bolt leg had kept falling off instead of sliding on around. There's a fix for this and uh, that's to replace that cam with a stud with a new cam and uh, I've not done this before and I have to admit I'm not a professional gunsmith nor have I had any professional training or hands-on guide or anything. I've just been tinkering with guns for the last 50 years and doing work on my own guns. I'm going to attempt to replace this uh, worn one with this new one. Now, the book says to can mill this off, and I don't have a mill, so I'm just going to try to file it. If that don't work, I'll try to grind it with a Dremel tool or something. On this side, if it comes into focus all right, you can see a halo around here where the original cam was riveted in. The book says you can cut this head off and then drive it on through. Well, problem with that, I think, this weld here has cut, eclipsed over into this rivet and it may not drive out. So I may have to drill it out. And I've got a drill bit here that's just a little bit undersized of the shank on the uh, cam. So I'm going to try to use it if I have to. And then I can take a needle file or a very small bit and a Dremel file and uh, round it out a little bit more. That's the plan anyway. Uh, we'll see if I'm successful or not. I'm going to try to get this here where you can see what I'm trying to do. I put a piece of friction tape over the hammer to lock into this old mill vise here so I can work on it. And I got up my, one of my better uh, files with a fine tooth cut on it. Doesn't look too pretty. Let's see if I can even... Nope. It's hard, hard, hard. It's going to have to be something used for a Dremel tool or something like that. I'll have to set that up a little bit in a different place. Okay, I have a vise set up in a vise. So if this is on the right level that I can work at comfortably, 
And one thing I hate to do is use a Dremel tool on anything. Sometimes it's the right tool, maybe the only tool that's available to use. Well, try to grind this off without going below the level of the surface there. It's going to get noisy, but I'll move it out on the get it. Well, I'll take a closer examination, but I hope that's good enough. While I have it here in this position, I'm going to take a little bit of a gamble. Probably shouldn't do this, but I'm going to take a punch and give this a couple gentle, gentle taps and see if it'll go on through. I don't think it moved. No. So I'm back to plan A, drilling it out. I'll have to do this probably off camera. I took a center punch. But a few gentle taps wasn't going to even make a mark on it. So I reverted back to using my Dremel tool with a little ball cutter on it. And uh, try to make a, a dent in here. Now I'm going to hedge my bed a little bit and uh, take a carbide drill bit, the eighth inch diameter, and try to drill through this. I'll have to set this up on the on the drill press. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to have to do that. I set this up with a Uberti uh, hammer screw that I could sacrifice into this vise. I don't think it'll hurt it actually. And I actually I flipped it over and made a new dent on the uh, other side because I could see it better and it would lay flatter in here. Not the best setup. I don't really have a way to clamp this. That'll be plenty of oil, I think. We'll just turn this on and see what happens. I think I'm doing much. Well, the good news is I got it out, but the bad news is I cracked it at across where it had been welded before. As it started to move, it expanded it out and broke it off. I was afraid of that. Uh, like I might have to get some professional help. I can't weld this up. 